and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. So today is the day. Today's the day. It is time to finally finish decorating for Christmas. You can kind of see behind me, I have gotten started. My wreath is up. Some of my little lights are up. And I have one thing over our dining table that I'll show you guys too. But there is so much stuff that I still want to put up and I still want to do that I just have not gotten to. I feel like I get started and then I get stopped. So today we're going to do sort of like, try to do like a power marathon of Christmas decorating and see how much we can get up this afternoon. Now, one thing that we don't have that we may be getting is a Christmas tree. We've never had a Christmas tree. One year we got a live Christmas tree, but I've been thinking a lot about it and I really want to get one. I have seen quite a few at the thrift stores lately, so I think maybe, maybe tomorrow, depending on how much we get done today, tomorrow morning I might slip out and find us a Christmas tree. So that might be, might be part of this little thing. But how about I show you what I've done so far? kind of done this bottom half of the wall. I put out my Christmas mugs, which make me so happy. I put out my wreath, all of that stuff. These bottom shelves are pretty much done, I would say. Uh, but that top shelf, I, I took all the fall stuff off, but have put nothing back on. So they, it looks really weird up there. So we definitely need to do that today. I have some lingering pumpkins to clear up and put away. Now you could say this is part of the Christmas decor I have done, but if you missed it, I shared another video where I did this little paint um, on the back of our built-in here. That's just the wall, but it's the back of our built-in. So in the dining room, I already created this little like garland hanging moment. I took down our fan blades. I put the, the process of it up on both my TikTok and Instagram, but I just created this nice little hanging moment over our table. I still have some pumpkins <laughs> as you can see. Um, so, but besides that, I think that's the last little bit of like holiday decor that I already have up. I'd really like to do something along the curtain rod. I think it'd be really cute to kind of like maybe hang a garland there or maybe hang some pine cones from there. I'm not sure, but definitely want to do something there. Want to have a nice little moment here. Need to sort of take some of my pumpkins that are still over here out of here and give this some some festive feeling. The rest of the house has definitely nothing holiday-ish at all. So this is kind of where we're starting with. We actually technically have a Christmas tree. We found this itty bitty one at uh, Lowe's the one day we were, while we were there, so we couldn't resist. And it's so funny, I've actually had this little pot for forever. We saved it from a barn that was getting torn down and I always thought, like, wouldn't it be so cute to do a Christmas tree in it? So I planted it in there. Um, obviously it's a little live one, so do love him, but he still needs like some decor. He needs some lights. I think I also have um, moss that I, think I'm going to try to put down here. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't, but I feel like he, he obviously needs a lot more. So got to give him some, some spice. Jingle bells ring. Chop a rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for seven tonight. We climb down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree, hugging and kissing just you and me. Santa's busy saying ho, ho, ho. We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake. And then we go skating on the frozen lake. Saying hi to every friendly face. And later we warm up by the fire.
right, it is day number two of decorating the house for Christmas and I do feel like I got a good amount done yesterday, although I still feel like there's like so much I want to do. I don't know if I'm just like the world's slowest decorator, which is kind of funny because I worked as a stylist for years and it's like I felt I feel like I was a pretty quick stylist when I worked in a photo st studio, but like for some reason seasonal decorating, I feel like it takes me takes me a couple days to really get it done every single time. But I stopped at the thrift store this morning. I was really hoping to get a Christmas tree, but they only had three and all three of them were like pretty sad looking. I was just really bummed because last time I was at that thrift store, they literally had like, I don't know, 10 or 15. Like they had so many and there was like two or three that I liked. This is why you just gotta get it when you see it. There is another thrift store that is local that has had some, some trees. So if I get time this week, I might try to stop there. While I popped in Goodwill this morning, there's two little things that are kind of Christmassy. Well, one's definitely Christmassy that I got that I'll show you just really quick. Look at this little print. I think it's actually watercolor and I think it's like actually original from what I can tell. I just thought it's like Victorian. I thought it's so cute and Christmassy. And I even love like the, the frame is old. I don't know. I just love it. And I feel like it's perfect for the winter. So it was $4.49, but it was half price because purple tags were half price today. So it was like two bucks basically and then i also got this cute little christmasy jar just so cute if you saw my last thrifting video where i did like a whole lot of christmas thrifting i got um a little jar that's it's actually like a dunkin donuts jar but it is it's got a little like christmasy houses on it and so i thought these would be cute to go together so i already have you probably can't see back there, but I have marshmallows in it. So I thought we could do like maybe chocolate chips in here. Hot chocolate bar for that. I am hoping to try to push through and wrap up as much of this decorating today as we can. 